The planet is gearing up for its third consecutive La Nina this winter, an occurrence that has only happened twice since the 1950s. Many are wondering what this triple dip La Nina means in a warming world. But before we get into that, let's go over some basics first. The El Nino Southern Oscillation, ENSO, is a recurring climate pattern that has three phases, El Nino, Neutral, and La Nina. In a neutral phase, the winds over the equatorial Pacific Ocean blow from east to west. Warm waters pile up in the west, which causes cold waters to well up along the coast of South America. During El Nino, the west-blowing winds weaken and allow the warm water to travel back towards the east, bringing a shift in weather patterns along with it. During La Nina, the normal east-to-west winds intensify, pushing the warm surface waters even more strongly towards the west and causing even more cold water to well up from deeper in the ocean in the east. The whole cycle for this phenomenon is about three to seven years. Uh, it varies, but around that range, so it's quite rare to stay in one state for this long. Since the planet keeps getting hotter with each passing year, many are wondering, is climate change playing a role? That's a tough question. I think there's a lot of debate still and what climate change could do to this phenomenon that we call El Nino Center Oscillation. I've seen studies that say that an onset of a La Nina could be more abrupt in the future, and then they could persist for longer, they could be more intense, but we don't really know for sure right now what climate change is doing or will do to, to this phenomenon in particular. There are several reasons it is challenging for scientists to pinpoint the exact effects climate change is having on El Nino and La Nina. There are limited historical data records for El Nino and La Nina, which makes it challenging to evaluate long-term trends. It is also difficult for computer models to separate the naturally occurring rise in sea surface temperatures during El Nino from the warming that has occurred due to climate change. One thing that I think that we know for sure is that La Nina and El Nino, they all create extreme events elsewhere, and we know that climate change will impact extreme events. So what will happen in the future likely is that you're going to have a drought because of Enso or you know, a flood because of La Nina and that event is going to be slightly worse because of climate change, right? Or what it would have been without climate change. Enso is Earth's strongest year-to-year -year climate fluctuation that has far-reaching impacts on the global economy and millions of people. You know, a lot of industry and, and, and human activities depend on, on weather conditions. So society would have to adapt to harsher conditions lasting for longer than, than you would want. The big things are food, water, and energy, right? If you don't have water, for example, I'm, fr I'm from Brazil, 70% of the electricity comes from hydropower. So if it doesn't rain, it will affect the energy production. While the consensus is currently unclear about the relationship between ENSO and climate change, one sentiment is certain. This rare occurrence will be a key source of data that will be closely studied by scientists.